Hey there. Um, I'm just going to have a little short check-in video. Just uh, want to reassure you there's uh, quite a few of you that got this thing figured out and uh, I really appreciate that. But hey, listen, this is uh, a time to learn something. You're going to make some mistakes. You may not get full credit. It's not the end of the world. But you can't proceed with chapter three until you get chapter two correct, okay? Because it's gonna mess everything up if you haven't entered things up and set your company up correctly, okay? So here's a couple things that I've noted, and if you look at your assignment, those reports that you were to turn in for this last week, I've uh, actually made some notes on your assignment, and. Uh, you need to check some things out if you didn't get full credit for them, for sure. And I didn't give any credit for anybody that had them wrong. So if uh, if you did them correctly, you got a 50 and the other ones didn't, and I'm expecting you to return them in because you cannot proceed. I, I If I could cap lock this, you cannot proceed with Chapter 3 until you get Chapter 2 correct. Okay? This can be a really frustrating process if you don't just kind of start, calm down a little bit, and then start again. Or at least take a look at a few things. It might be very minor. Okay, if you rush through it, there's a good chance that you didn't actually put them in correctly. But if, if you didn't do that, and you're pragmatic like I've been expecting you to do and actually encouraging you to do and doing a little bit at a time so you didn't, weren't tired when you are doing it and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm not getting on you, but the first thing that uh, I've noticed is those people, the, the reports, okay? I asked you for four different reports. That was, those reports were to be pulled as of 12-31-2016, not the date of, of the report, which would be like October 14th if you did it on Sunday. Okay? Major problem. It's going to come up with something different if you do that. So that date is very, very important. That would be the first thing I'd try if you didn't, get a score on last week's assignment, okay? So the second thing is that I would go straight to my trial balance. It should look and appear very similar and with the exact same numbers as mine does that I supplied to you. Hopefully you saw it there. It's right at the bottom of the Moodle page and it says trial balance for you to compare your trial balance with. It's as, tw as of 12 31 16. Okay, so check that out. The bottom number is the one I'm going to start with. It should be 187,192.50 on the debit side and on the credit side. The trial balance is really an important document or report for you to see if your your records you're inputting are accurate. One of the reasons that we, we covered the fact that debits have to equal credits and we did some assignments over that was for this main reasons. Because if your debits don't equal your credits then you've got an inaccurate system right from the get-go. Okay? So I checked that final number. First, that trial balance has to be of 12, 31, 16, okay? Many of you had this year's date instead of the 16, okay? So the next thing to check, and you can do it right here. Actually, you can search for any dates that are out of the ordinary. Now, this is, this is a... a somebody's accounting program right here I'm looking at that has lots of data in it. It's going to have lots of other dates. But so far, I haven't had you input anything that you did not actually put down as 12-31-2016. Very, very important that we're starting out the year. We're setting up our books for accuracy 
to, to get going, okay? So um, you, could, you could search for that thing. Anything other than 1231.16. You may have to look at different accounts under your accounting, chart of accounts. Right here and look at if any of those were set up as of a separate date. That happens a lot. Don't think you're in 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 a uh, you know in an elite category if you didn't get the right answers. Okay, could be that you forgot to put the right date and it defaults to the day you're inputting it. I've I've said this before, but I've taught this class several times and QuickBooks defaults to today if you don't put the date that's required. Okay, so that's one thing that you can check for. And it's usually a very, very common mistake at this point in the game. So correct those dates. The, the, the other thing, and I, I, I did post something earlier on it, but I'm not sure if everybody got the memo, was deleting accounts in an accounting system to an accountant is is something you don't do, okay? QuickBooks allows you to do it. You have to be very, very careful about it. And uh, so if you just indiscriminately go, oh, crap, I, I just put that account in correct, I'll just delete it. Well, actually, QuickBooks doesn't delete it. It actually makes them inactive. And then when you pull reports, for those dates that you you tell it to, it pulls the inactive accounts into those reports. Big problem, because you then actually duplicated. In some of your reports, there's up to four or five times of the same account because you deleted them more than once. Okay? A little bit of a workaround, and I'm not saying that this is going to make sense, but you may have to get some help. I'm only a phone call away, okay? My office number is listed there. My cell phone's listed there, too. Um, most of you are pretty good about not bothering me on the weekend. Most of you are pretty good about bother, not bothering me at all. But I'm here to be bothered. So let me know if you're having difficulty with that sort of thing. I can go into your account. And we can go through it together. If I go in there, I can go in there and fix it myself, but I'm not going to do that. That that You wouldn't learn anything by that. Learning takes a little bit of change and maybe even a little stress and maybe a little bit of difficulty in order to get things correct. Okay? So I'm not expecting you to be perfect. I'm just expecting your reports to be perfect. Does that make sense? Anyway, this has been way too long. You're having problems, and that none of this made sense in this video. Then you give me a call. Urgency requires a call. I've said this before. A text or an email are okay. Let me know that you're in distress, but it does not qualify as being urgent. The reports were due last week, and if you're in distress, and they haven't, don't have those things, don't have them correct, then I'm figuring on you giving those, I'm figuring on you giving me a call or showing up at my office is even better because I could, I'll probably sit down and show you a few things. Okay? I hope that helps. Um, let me know. Okay? I, and uh, I, I really am. I, I appreciate, I'd rather have you get it right and uh, go on and be a little bit less frustrated and uh, go on with the week and, and be frustrated, okay? Uh, so give me a call. Bye-bye.